We're going now. Hi, hello everybody. Um, I was not intending on opening this video up right now, but I am. Um, <laughs> I'm officially uh, out of Seattle. I'm heading back into the wild, and so of course I had to go to Walmart to restock on stuff. But that's boring, so I wasn't gonna film yet. That is the look. There's some interaction going on right now. <laughs> that was the sketchiest Walmart I've ever been in on this entire trip. Um, like the actual Walmart itself is fine, but there's a security guard driving around. There were three security guards inside with like vests, you know, like fitted up. Um, there's like, when I was walking in, there were like three sketchy, like homeless, druggy people walking out or in front of it. And when I walked in, there were no carts. And I like walked past the gate thing where it says like enter here. Um, but I hadn't closed yet when I realized I didn't know where the carts were and I needed one. So I went back out and asked the, and the thing goes off. And I asked the security guard like, yo, where are the carts like did I miss them and he like kind of laughed and he was like no they're like around the corner to the left like keep going so they basically so this place has to lock the carts in so that homeless people don't steal them I was gonna like do a bunch of shopping here but I'm not I got like the the bare essentials that I needed like um toilet paper paper towels laundry because I have to do laundry today. Um, and I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's, I think. Actually, I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> because I thought I was gonna get a bunch of stuff in there and it kind of threw off like my order of plans. But anyways, we're heading into the wild today. We're going to um, Olympic National Park this week. So that's on the agenda. Um, I have to plug in my EcoFlow. So I guess you can come with me on that. You can see the state of my car. How about that? It's really bad. essentially like winding up um, this little mountain all the way up there hopefully nobody's up there because this will be like an awesome view if nobody's up there I just, I'm in disbelief right now. Like, look at that. How is this my life right now? <laughs> So, 
I have a lot to catch you guys up on. In the last video, I left off arriving in Seattle at my besties place. Well, I spent like a while there with her. Um, we ended up going to Canada, which I'll get into in a second. Um, and then after I was with her, I took a cruise to Alaska with my entire family, which I'll also get into in a second. But yeah, then I got back and now I'm in the wild again. So I hit the road today and yeah. So I was going to sit outside in like the beautifulness. Like how is this my campsite right now? I don't know. Um, but it started raining, so it's good to sit inside. And you can enjoy the, the mess behind me. Yeah, so in Seattle, I was hanging out with my best friend um, since, like, we've been besties since childhood, so that's, like, really cool. Um, and she lives up in Seattle. So we went on a couple adventures. One of them was, like, out into the wilderness. <laughs> Not really far into the wilderness, but nonetheless. We saw a bunch of like pretty nature and that was nice to just go out there. When I was hanging out with my bestie, we also went to Canada. And so we drove from Seattle to Port Angeles. We got up at four in the morning and we drove to Port Angeles. We got on the ferry, my first ferry ride ever. So that was cool. Like I didn't know really what to expect, but we arrive in Canada and she takes off on her little adventure appointment thing that she had and then I ended up taking her car and doing a little adventure of my own. So yeah, that was really interesting. I'll put those clips in now so you guys can see how my adventure went. There's a jellyfish. <laughs> Then, after that, it was time for my cruise to Alaska. And that was the, uh, the reason I had to go to Seattle in the first place was because our cruise to Alaska took off from Seattle. So the next day, we get on the cruise. I'm just forgetting on the cruise. And of course, the first thing that I did when I was on the cruise was go and get a pina colada. So I took my pina colada and I found a pool that nobody was in. I think it ended up being like the kiddie pool to be honest with you, but I went and I swam in the pool and then I think we took off after that. So I was hanging out in the room with my brothers. I'm trying to open this. And I didn't realize that we actually were moving. 11788. What are you guys? I have no idea. <laughs> for the cruise the reason we all went on this cruise was because our grandparents were honoring all of the graduates in our family whether you graduated from high school or college or medical school you know anything my grandparents wanted to celebrate by bringing us all on a week cruise to Alaska. Uh, however, my grandpa, he's like my step-grandpa, I guess. Like my grandma and him got married more recently. And so he has his own uh, family and they have a giant family. <laughs> Whereas like my side, I think we only had like 10 or 12 people. And let me just say this, it was a party of 42 and my side took up like 10 or 12 people. <laughs> But I was awesome. So there were 42 of us and that ended up taking up 1% of the entire ship, which I think is crazy. And I got to meet um, a lot of the cousins that I hadn't met before. And it's really cool that they were like all around my age. So we bonded and um, just hung out all week. And I honestly had a blast. It was one of the most fun trips I've taken ever, probably. <laughs> Um, so shout out to Grandma and Obi. So, um, our cruise, so the first stop on our cruise was in Sitka, Alaska. 
And it was a pretty cute little town. We ended up just going to a bar and doing shots called duck fart shots. Hey! Cheers! Cheers, cheers, cheers. When are we, we going now? And we then explored like a little nature hike thing with totem bulls everywhere. And then we just went back to the ship after that. So then in Ju Juno was our next stop. And then in Juneau, we went to a saloon called the Red Dog Saloon, and they had like hay on the floor. It was actually really cute. Um, and then we got back on ship. The next day, we went to Icy Straight Point, <laughs> which I thought it was like such a weird name, which it is, but I think it was a property that the cruise ship had bought fairly recently. So they built a gondola all the way up to the top and I wouldn't say that I'm scared of heights, but I was really scared to look down on this gondola. Uh, but the view was worth it. It was worth going up it. You had to pay a chunk of money to go up it, but it was it was worth it. And then we get to the top and there are all these signs for like, watch out for bears, like they can kill you, like Alaska's not a zoo. Um, it was just crazy. And they were also like, don't go off the boardwalk because you could sink and die, even though it looks like grass. So it was, it was really cool going up there. It was really cool. And then the next stop on our cruise was Ketchikan. But that one, I, I didn't like it too much. Um, it was just a bunch of shops and stuff. So I bought some socks and I bought, um, fish jerky, or like salmon jerky. And I don't know what I was expecting, but it was not good. It tasted like fishy fish. And I handed some to my dad and he took a bite and then kept throwing it in the water to feed the fish. <laughs> yeah, so I think like that really co pretty much covers um my cruise in case you were curious about how it went. So I go back and I, um, or we get back and I go to pick up my car from the cruise parking lot that I had stored it in, which you had to pay for. And I get back and like something looked kind of off with my car, but I was like, yeah, something's off, but I don't really know what it is. So I hop in it. I drive to downtown Seattle. I find parking to go back to visit my friend. And when I start walking away from the car, it just looked different. I was like, wait my roof box is gone my roof box got stolen from the cruise parking lot so the whole way back from the cruise park i was going like 30 miles per hour because you know you can't speed in a city and i was like did it fall off i was like i would have heard it you know it would have made some sort of racket and i would have seen it and i didn't see anything and then i was like oh, it was probably stolen but I, I just like was like, whatever. Um, I go to my friend's house. So today when I ended up leaving, like for real, I had to take the, cause the roof straps were like on the rack, just like flat sitting there. And I was like, huh? So I didn't want to go like 80 miles per hour cause they'd fly off. So I investigate this morning. I, cl I climb up there and I start undoing the ratchet straps. And then I like see that they were just cut off and that just confirmed what I already knew. Yeah, so my roof box was stolen. <laughs> so yeah, a bunch of my camping gear got stolen. It really wasn't anything too important. Um, it was a bunch of books, which I'm kind of bummed about. It was my steel-toed boots from work and bear spray I'm kind of bummed about because that's kind of expensive. And then all of my laundry pods, got stolen and then just like toilet paper and paper towels um a hammock was up there so I'm kind of bummed about that and just like some other tiny things like I think extra bug spray or was up there I don't know so yeah it's in somebody's little homeless encampment probably right now I'm also bummed about the stickers that I had on it that got stolen but whatever it's not like I can do anything. So yeah, I think that kind of wraps up everything that I've been up to. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.